Hey, hey guys, guys. it's back. Maddie. It's <laughs> and Mary Rose. <laughs> it's finally time for my college stat video. All the details. The long-awaited video. But yeah, I'm gonna be covering my SAT scores, my GPA, uh, AP, AP classes, scores, extracurriculars. Yes, everything, everything under. <laughs> Everything under the sun. <laughs> like this is the ultimate college video. Everything you need Mary to know Rose about how she got into the schools that she did because <laughs> she got into some really good schools. Let's just put it that way. And before we get into the video, make sure you like and you subscribe and Keep stay it. notified because we will be coming with a lot more videos, a, a lot, lot more college-related college videos. She's gonna be vlogging her whole college experience, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and hit the bell if you want to. <laughs> All, All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into the video. So I applied to 16 schools. They'll be listed here. I took 10 APs. It was pretty much the most that my school offered. So I took one freshman year that was AP Human Geography. And I got a five on the exam. I took one sophomore year, AP World History. And I got a five on that exam. And then I took three junior year, AP Chemistry, AP English Language, and AP US History. And then I got fives on US History and AP Lang. And then senior year I took six, I think. I took one semester of AP Macro, one semester of AP Comparative, and then I took AP Lit, AP Physics C Mechanics, and AP Calc BC, as well as AP Spanish Language and Culture. So those are my APs, <laughs> and I'm waiting on those scores, but according to my counselor, I did have the most rigorous course schedule available. And then my GPA. My unweighted GPA is a 3.953, and my weighted GPA is a 4.38. And in regards to standardized testing, I took the SAT. I actually did take the ACT one time, but I was not a fan of it. Um, so I took the SAT twice. Um, my first try, I got a 1430, and my second try, I got a 1520. And my super score was 1540. So that's the score that I submitted to most of my colleges. For SAT help, I worked with Apple Ruth. Um, I started in August and I took it in November, my first try, so I had about four months to prepare, but I will say that my first tutor, um, who I worked with when I got the 1430, was not well suited to me. He was more used to helping kids who needed help in like English and reading, and I needed more help scoring higher on the math section. So. I would recommend that if you guys work with them or any other tutoring business to make sure that the tutor that you get is suited to what you need help in because I feel like I wasted a lot of my time with that guy, so. <laughs> but it all worked out. I did attempt to take it a third time, but due to COVID, all I, I think I registered maybe eight more times to try and take it, but they all got canceled, so. I was left to use my 1540 to submit. I wanted to take these subject tests, but unfortunately those kept getting canceled as well. And when I planned to take them this spring, College Board just flat out canceled them permanently. So there's that. <laughs> The next question is about my class rank. Um, my school did not release the exact ranking um, of each student, but I do know that I was in the top 10%, and because I did receive my junior year um, an award from the University of Georgia, I know that I am in the top 5% of my class, but that's all that I know. <laughs> The next question is about extracurricular activities. I did several things. The main thing that I did was FBLA, the Future Business Leaders of America, which I highly recommend doing if you have not considered that. Um, I did public speaking with them and I was also president of my chapter. And I also mentioned in my college applications how I placed at the regional and state level for public speaking and how I, I went to nationals to compete as well. Um, my other involvement was with the theater department at my school. Um, I did a lot of ensemble work and like a lot of production work with them. In regards to community service and volunteer work, I did talk about how during COVID I started my own letter writing campaign for residents at our local senior like living home. I also did a lot of work with Habitat for Humanity and I was on the board of leadership for my chapter as well as another student community service organization at my school that I served as the event coordinator for. That was more of like a local organization. 
The next question is about academic honors and awards. I was on the high honor roll all four years of high school. I was also a National Merit Commended Scholar, which I indicated on my applications. I was a member of the English Honor Society, the National Honor Society, the National Spanish Honor Society, and Mu Alpha Theta, the Mathematics Honor Society. And the other award that I received was Highest Achievement in Junior English, my junior year, <laughs> which makes sense. For my summer activities, I did summer after my sophomore year when I realized that I wanted to do something involved in like chemistry or maybe like lab work. I did the Boston University City Lab program, um, which was related to drug production and biotechnology. And then summer after junior year during COVID, it was online. I did the Emory Winship Cancer Research Program, uh, which is a great opportunity. If you have the opportunity to do that, um, it's in Atlanta. so. If you're out of state, probably not. I got to hear like a lot of lectures and work on my own medical review article. And that was a great opportunity. So I talked a lot about that and how that made me want to research cancer in the future uh, on my college applications. The other activity that I did summer after junior year was something called AI in Spirit Scholars. It was a program where I kind of got to learn how to code a bit and I learned a bit about AI in general and it was very fascinating. It was a Stanford summer program. So the result of all this hard work is that I will be attending Georgia Tech this fall. I'm so excited about it. Um, I will be studying chemical engineering and I'm actually a gold scholar, um, which means that I am in the top 2% of incoming freshmen this year. That was part of a recruitment process that they selected me for and I had a semi-finalist interview slash a finalist interview and I got the gold scholarship. So that's sort of one of the results of my hard work. Um, and I'm very excited about that and very grateful. And what else? Hmm. So yeah, thank you for joining me today. And if you wanna see more college content from me, let me know what kinds of videos you guys wanna see. I'm open to reading some essays or talking more about my college stats, whatever you guys wanna hear. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!